it surprises me to this day that some people still don't know this trick or they might think it's too dangerous or too complicated for them to do. But if you've ever been through a disaster or even a winter storm, you know that when you go to the store, these things, these little fuel canisters, these one pound propane tanks and other things like water and food, they're off the shelves. Panic buyers have already came in, they heard about the storm and they take all of the canisters. So good luck getting those. And even if you do, stacking up on these is very expensive these days. These one single can is over $8 where I'm at. That's insane. So I'm not gonna be buying a ton of these. I'm just going to refill them. And the myth behind doing this being illegal is that you're not allowed to transport these. You're not allowed to refill them and then take them into your vehicle and transport them somewhere else. And if you get caught doing that, that's potentially half a million dollar fine and five years imprisonment. So if you're gonna fill these up, just don't travel with them. So if you've got any kind of emergency heater or you use this for hunting, whatever the case, like this buddy heater here, you're gonna need these one pound tanks. And you see this 20 pound here, I know I'm gonna have people asking, so I'll just come out here uh, preemptively. Why don't I just use this hose, hook it up to my heater and my propane tank here and just use it that way. Carry it around the house, it's not a big deal. You're not gonna be moving it around. I don't feel very comfortable and I know others don't as well having this thing sit right next to them in a small room that you're trying to heat in an emergency situation. You could use one of these. I prefer not to in that certain situation. So all you need in this case is three things. You need the one pound propane tank. You need a propane adapter kit that's gonna allow you to go from the 20 pound in this case to a one pound. And you need your 20 pound or you could do a 30, 40 or 50 pound tank that you're gonna move the propane from here to here. And I'm gonna put a link to a couple of these in the description, there's two that I like. And in this case, I'm gonna use this guy because this has that plastic grip that's gonna allow me to avoid having to use a wrench. So it's one less tool that you need. You're gonna thread this on. Hand tight, I would jump your wrench in that down, you're gonna break that plastic. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tank, you're going to thread this on you can use gloves, I don't, but you could use gloves if you're afraid of getting that kind of spurt of propane if you get your hand too close to the valve when you're releasing this after you fill it. Tighten that down hand tight, and what you're gonna do is flip the tank over. Be very careful there. And now that you have this upside down, stable surface, you're going to release the valve on the propane tank and you're going to hear a hiss. Now wait until the hissing stops and once it does you're not going to hear anything coming out of this tank now from propane from here going into here. You're going to turn off that valve tighten it all the way and then this is the point where you'd probably want to use a glove if you're afraid of getting hit with that cold air. At this point, you could fill your other tanks, keep it on the stable surface, put in the other one, the next one, and the next one, release the valve, wait until the hissing totally stops. You don't hear any more sound of the propane going from this tank transferring into this one. Tighten that valve, rinse and repeat over and over again. So at this point, you could take this tank and you could use it for your emergency heater. But I said partially filled for a reason because there's gonna be pressure buildup in here, not just propane. So once that pressure builds up, it's going to keep this from filling to exactly that one pound of propane that you're promised when you buy these things new. But that ultimately is the fastest way to fill one of these up and get it working again. If you wanted to push it to the one pound max of the propane, because it's the one pound of propane plus the weight of the empty can you could use a scale and something like these needle nose pliers and you can apply the needle nose pliers to the valve on the main valve here, not this little one. This could get stuck open, it happens a lot. Just use this main valve and give it a couple spurts and then rinse and repeat the process. And the scale is gonna ensure that you don't overfill these things because that's the danger overfilling these explosion risk 
of course, fire risk, but don't be having any open flames or creating sparks when you're doing this, of course. But the most important thing is you don't want to go over the specified weight. That's just me. I don't want you folks getting hurt. You absolutely could use the scale and get every last little ounce, every last little gram. You could fill these the way I just did, get that quick fill, do a few tanks. Again, I'm not gonna have a ton of these laying around and I've got this if I need to fill it up again. It's just my preference. And remember, there's always a risk of explosion and fire. Um, just be careful, use common sense, follow the instructions. There's instructions that come with the adapter as well. Watch other YouTube videos but you absolutely could fill this more if you wanted. If you wanna see a video where I'm doing this, beginning to end using the scale, let me know in the comments. If I get enough of them, I, I will do that. But that's really the quick and dirty way to fill one of these. So if you wanna see the other video, like I said, leave a comment. If you got anything out of this video, let me know in the comments. Please share, like, hit subscribe. It helps a small channel like mine grow. And folks, stay safe, stay practical. I'll catch you on the next one.